Hello everyone, my name is Rochelle Babcock. I'm a learning designer here at St. Leo. And today for Tech Tip Tuesday, I am going to go over how to export and import into your courses in Brightspace. So to start it off, there's several different reasons we might want to export for it and import from one course to the next. First, you might want to transfer some content from one course shell to another. This could be from one previous semester to a new semester. You might also want to reuse content that you have in one course that you need to copy over to a different course. In addition, there might be some collaboration and sharing that you have with other faculty members. So you might want to share some course material. PDFs to rubrics to assignment structures and exporting and importing allows you to take from one course to the next. In addition, you might want to just back up content that you have, so it might be a good idea to export some information from a course into your sandbox so you have it there for later when you're doing this. When you're working on exporting and importing, I always suggest you use your sandbox for testing. So each of you should have a sandbox. If you don't, please reach out to someone on the CTLE team to get that set up for you. But within here in your sandbox, you can play around with those import-export options. This can also be a base for anything that you decide that you may or may not use in future course shells. All right, so now what we're going to do, we are going to go through the process of how we export from one course and import that information into the next. So I'm gonna play around with a base course called Psychology 337, and I am going to take information from that course and I'm going to send it to my sandbox. All right, so I look up the course up here, Put the title in 337, that's the course I want to work with. All right, so within this course shell, I'm going to go up here to where it says Course Tools. Click on that, and then you'll see under the tools there is an Import-Export option. And click on that. And what we want to do is we want to take portions of this course into a different course. So that means we're going to export. So I want to export as a Brightspace package because we are working within Brightspace and we're taking it from one portion of Brightspace and moving it over to another. Realize that even though we're taking it out of here, it's still gonna stay in here. We're just kind of copying it over to a different course. All right, so now it has a list of all the components that are in this course that I could copy over. You could choose to copy the entire course over by just clicking that top button. You can unclick that. And what you could do is you can maybe say, you know, really all I need from this course are the rubrics because I have a new course that has similar assignments and these rubrics will work for those assignments or might even be similar. I might need to alter some of it, but it's generally the same structure. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click on the rubrics and I have two options here. I could export all of those or I could select individual items. So I'm gonna select individual, go to continue. And then in here, it gives me all of the rubrics that I have as an option to take from this course and copy over. So it seems like, you know, I need this one and maybe this one, this one's a draft. So I'm just gonna take that off and I am going to click on the rest, go to continue And now it says that I've taken five of six. If I was like, oh no, I meant to take them all, I could do the modify button and go back. The modify would just take you back to the original last page where it had all of them listed. I do wanna make sure I'm including the course files in my export package, and I'm going to click that export button. So now it tells me that my export has started and I'll receive a notification when it's all done. So your notifications, this little bell up here or your updates, I'm sorry, the update alerts. So in here you can click on that button and you can see when it's finished. I've been exporting a lot today so there's lots of buttons but then what I'm trying to do right now is not quite there. I can click done and wait for that to pop up. If you do do that, it takes you back to the original import export page and you can choose to select another folder or another item to download as well. 
Sometimes what I like to do is just click the refresh button up and there looks like my little orange dots there, so it must be good. Yeah. And it says export finished just now, so I know that's the most recent. I'm gonna click on that and now it's gonna ask me if I wanna download this file as a zip package. And yes, I do. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna see it's downloading up here. Great. It's gonna go in my download folder so you can see it just popped up here. All right, so now I wanna to go to my home and I want to find the course I want to import this information into now. So I'm gonna to go to my sandbox because that's where we're gonna import it. And we're gonna to go to the same course tools and back to the import export. And now we're importing. Okay, so we are importing and we're importing from a course package. So we're taking that course package we exported earlier and we're now importing it into a different shell. So we're gonna start and now it's asking you to upload. So we know we downloaded that into our download folder. So we're going to click on the upload button. We're gonna grab that folder open it, and it's gonna to start to upload that zip folder into our course package. So this is gonna take a while. If you've exported a lot from the other course and are importing it in here, it might take a bit of time. I only have a few rubrics, so it didn't take too long. But now I'm going to import all those components, and now this is where it's going to convert, which is pretty easy for the system because we are working with a bright space package. So it's just, you know, converting from one to the other, and they're importing all of those rubrics I've exported over from the previous course. And again, sometimes this takes longer if you have lots of files that you are importing in. And then once it's done, this will turn blue. Well, it's blue now, but it will turn like a darker blue. And you'll click View Content. and then it'll take you back to the beginning of the layout of your course. And then you'll wanna go into each section and make sure that what you imported from that other course copied over properly. So I know I only did rubrics, so I'm gonna to go to progress and rubrics. And it looks like from first glance, they are all there. But I do wanna make sure that the rubrics look the same and have the same information. And it looks like they do. Now. If I'm in here and I want to delete things and I want to revise them, I'm in editing mode so I can go ahead and do that. Don't feel like you have to keep it just because it was imported in. Once you decide, oh, I don't really need the reflection discussion rubric or I don't need the research report rubric, you can take any items that you import into the course and go ahead and delete them. All you have to do, as long as they're not linked directly to anything yet, all you have to do is click on that item, click the little trash, and say, yes, I'd like to delete that. And then it gets deleted, and it's no longer in that course. All right, so that is a general overview of how you would export from one course shell and import into another course shell, all within Brightspace, of course. If you have any questions about exporting or importing within our LMS, you can reach out to anyone at the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence or use the Ask for Help button on our website and we will work through it with you. I hope this video gave you some insight and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching and join us next week for our next Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence at St. Leo University.